Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. Well, today we're at the greatest muscle car show on the planet, the Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals in Rosemont, Illinois. You can see details in the description of this video. Come on out to a great show. It's the week before Thanksgiving. I'm with Mike. Mike, your last name? Dodsworth. And this is a survivor car. Mike, what year, make, and model is this one? So this is a 1969 Pontiac GTO. It's a Ram Air 3 four-speed. 45,000 original miles, all survivor. 45,000 original miles. Let's take a look at our featured attraction. And it's no trailer queen, but it sure looks mean. First of all, love the hideaway headlights. Love the body style of the 69 GTO. That just looks tremendous. So, how long have you had this one? So I've owned this car since May of this year. It's a lucky find on Hemmings. And I've been able to trace all of the five previous owners. Had conversations with all of them, so I have all the history on the car dating back to when it was purchased new in 1970. That is a find, isn't it? Definitely. That's a treasure right there. It just looks amazing. 45,000 miles on it. My gosh, you don't even you probably have the original brakes on it. But I love the fact that, like, I mean, when you look at a car that's a survivor, see all of that? That's actually the way it came. Exactly. The only thing that's been painted on this car, the Endura nose. Yeah. Does that and one all have cracks in it normally? Go exactly. Ahead. That was painted about 10 years ago by one of the previous owners. Yeah. And the driver's side quarter panel was repainted back in the 70s. We discovered a little bit of a patch, probably a fender bender yeah, behind sure. the rear wheel that was fixed. Yeah. Other than that, all of the paint on the car is original. Unbelievable. Like, look right there. I'm trying to catch the cracks. I catch it in the red light. <laughs> That's great. We've even got one right here. This was the reason why the original owner sold the car in 2005. He kept the car in his garage. He rubbed up against it one day with something created the scratch. He said, that's it. I'm done. I'm selling it. I'm tired of walking on eggshells. The eggshells for someone else turned into the gold for yourself. Exactly. You just take a step back. All red. All white. All delightful. That's glorious. Mike, I'm happy for you. Thank you, Lou. Appreciate that. That is really, really cool. The marker lights with the GTO in there. Let me show the back of the car. Now, is this is this the first time you've been to the Muscle Car and Corvette National? It is, yes. Wow, well, I am really excited for you to see the cars that you're going to see you featured here. Let's open the trunk, shall we? Sure. Exciting thing about when you see a car like this is probably is the original spare tire that looks like it. Exactly, original spare, rally two wheel, jack assembly, original uh, trunk mat, which is very rare. You That's don't typically see that. Great. And it's in pretty good shape. It is in pretty good shape. Original label there. Just. Another interesting thing about this car yeah. is we sent it to Level 1 Restorations yeah. in Colorado back in the summer and Gary Riley performed the new Dreiss undercarriage cleaning where they utilize dry ice and they sandblast oh, right, right. any surface rust or dirt off of the uh, undercarriage and engine bay. So it even looks better than it used to. Exactly. It looks phenomenal now. Yeah, yeah, Preserving great. all the original patina. Yeah, that is great. Alright, let's close that. May I open it up? Open it up. I need some light there. I'll just do this. Okay. Interesting fact. You'll notice the sun tack there on the console. Which was very time period correct. Yes. Okay. One purchased in 1970. I knew the you were going with that. The original owner installed that. Yeah. That's a day two option that was right there back in the day. Exactly. I apologize, I stole a little thunder there on your... That's <laughs> <laughs> all good. I just got so excited. Sure. I couldn't help myself with your car. Knowing that this is a survivor, and by the way, I'm, as you can hear me, I'm sniffing this car. 
Yeah, that is just great. And the right amount of pedals. Try to get the light just right so you can see these gauges. The wood grain. So like, was it love at first sight? Well, oh, definitely. Yeah, I can understand that. I saw this car on Hemmings on a Friday afternoon. Yeah. And I purchased it the next day, sight unseen, <laughs> just from the description of the ad, discussions with the owner, I knew exactly what it was. thing about the GTO the only thing you have there on the door is that one GTO right there let's take a look under the hood shall we Ram Air. interesting little fact about the Ram Air decals yeah. so when the uh, original owner bought the car in 1970 he actually removed the original decals for insurance reasons <laughs> He didn't want people to know that it was a Ram Air so he could insure it at a lower cost. Is that right? Yes. Okay. And so those are NOS stickers. So that's interesting that he that he bought a GTO, but he was concerned about the insurance. Exactly. Okay. Because the Ram Airs brought a higher premium. There you can see the Ram Air function and how that works. That piece right there. Wow, this Interesting sticker. fact is you'll see the original I WS that, factory yes. label. You rarely ever see that. Right. That's usually burnt right off mm -hmm. or washed out in time. So this guy took tremendous care of this car. Original master cylinder tag still on the car. Wow. There's our, even this little spring there. You rarely see that. The spring to hold the Ram Air. The Ram Air cable back, yes. Wow. And what they did was they drilled at the factory a little hole under the firewall. Okay. On the cow sill there so that the spring could attach. And then it, as you see, it holds back the Ram Air cable. Now, you're Those a, are always missing. You're a Pontiac guy because your grandfather. Yes, my grandfather was a Pontiac guy. Um, Who did he come pick you up with and stole the show? Uh, he bought a 1972 Catalina from Fear Pontiac in Hamilton, Ohio on a Friday afternoon and he came and picked me up Friday night in it, that brand it. new. That was it. And that was it. That was it. That was it, <laughs> yes. A big fat cat Catalina, beautiful. All right, let's fire it up, shall we? Sure. Super smooth, super smooth. Yes. Gotta work on that brake light a little bit, but we're good. Give it a rough, please, Mike. Let's close the hood, give them the lights. We'll, we'll make sure they see the lights as well. You want me to turn the lights on? Yeah, go ahead. May I shut the hood? Sure. Thank you. I think you need it on, I think it's vacuum.
Wait for it. <laughs> this is exactly how it was back in the day. And then there. Presto, we just set it off. <laughs> Yeah, they need to build up enough vacuum. For exactly, sure. exactly. They open back up again. And I know this is a relatively new car for you. So much fun. Yeah. Oh my gosh, what a great survivor. Mike, first of all, congratulations on getting to the Muscle Car National. Absolutely fantastic to get this car. Thanks so much for being on my car story. Well, thank you, Lou. Appreciate the video and uh, your time today. Thank you. All right, you're welcome.